Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another video of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we have got two systems actually to check out from the user Cyrus Plays and it looks like it's a two-parter system so this should be uh, this should be pretty cool. We haven't had like one like this in um, quite a while where there's like two different variants of the same system so without further ado we're going to go ahead and check it out. So the first one I need to check out is called the Destiny System before. And we have after, before and after. So we're going to see what's this all about. So, right, okay. This is a remake of one of my earliest submissions. It is in episode 19. That is pretty cool. One that I reversed the order of. You reviewed the one that should go second and vice versa. Anyway, that's how I decided to remake this. <laughs> oh, damn. So on the earlier days of this series, I decided not to put that much reading so you can take a break from that like the good old days. Oh, yeah. Sometimes reading can be crazy when it's uh, really, really long. <laughs> P.S. I named the planets after how the scientists will classify them. So the planet has a name. B, second starts with C and so on. Okay. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Nice. Okay, so that is what we have got. So the star itself. Destiny. Here we are. So a little larger than the sun. Mass and radius, as we can see, 1.5. More luminous. Uh, slightly warmer in temperature as well. Okay. So let's have a little look at the zone as well. So there you go. Okay. So, first of the worlds, we have Baron here. So, as you can see, very similar to Mercury in appearance. Very, very similar in temperature-wise. Little larger in radius than Mercury, though. So, there is Baron. So, very, very hot rock. Next up, we've got Chasm over here. So, this is the next world out. So, it's a little cooler, larger than Earth in size and radius. Or mass and radius, as I say. Okay. Looking good. It also has one moon called Mantle. Which is actually hotter than the parent planet. Yes, it is. Okay. So, very, very hot one in there. So, not the most hatable place in the system, is it? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay. Next up, we've got Desolate. This one's actually colder in temperature. Minus 42 degrees. Has a slight yellow atmosphere to it as well. Okay. Cool. And it also has a moon as well. We have Dos. Looking good. Okay. All right, moving on. Next up, we have got Aether or Aether. So this is a Earth-like world, as we could see. 45 degrees in temperature. Okay. Quite warm here. Also has a moon called Crescent over there. Oh, uh, there he is. Okay. So there's the uh, planet and moon. Looking good. But yeah, the planet to itself. Let's look at his stats. We always look at the stats. 85 and 75. So really respectable stats there. Nice. Have a little look underneath the atmosphere as well. Looks like we've got a very nice green underneath here. Yeah, okay. So lots of pots of water on it. Okay, interesting. Right. And then uh, there's the moon as well. Get close up of the moon. Turn all that off. Get a nice shot of both of them. There you go. Okay. Looking good. Right. Next up. So we're taking a jump. So we've got past the Earth flight world. We have Fate next up. So as you can see, this one looks to have a very, very thick cloud layer. Minus 34 degrees as well. Let's have a little look underneath. Okay, so it's an all-ocean world with an atmosphere and clouds on top. Okay. Then we have fair over here. Then we're taking a jump to force. Okay, cool. Okay, nice, nice. Then we have an asteroid belt around the Destiny star. Next up, we've got Gateway. So this is a gas giant. It's got the dark spot effect as well. The negative contrast looking very, very nice indeed. Do like that. Looking good. Large and Jupiter in both of its stats as well. And we've also got its moons. So like we normally do, we'll just uh, have them all up here so we can uh, save the time traveling to them all. So we've got one called Smog. Like Titan underneath. Oh, okay. Looks like it's actually a Titan texture as well. Very nice. Okay. So very, very similar to Titan. We've got SM1 here, an asteroid moon. We've got Rise. Ooh, a world with some water on it. We'll get a closer look. Okay. What's the temperature on this guy? Minus 134. Still got some patches of water, though. Let's look at his stats for curiosity. 65 and 8. Okay. Pretty cold stuff, though. What's this uh, temperature we're looking at? Okay, so the warmest areas only go to minus 84. So that's a pretty, uh, pretty hard world for life as we know it to survive there, I'd say. Um, and then an SM2 as well. Okay. Cool. 
Right, next up we have got... So we're going to this world here. Into Looper. So more very, very distant. Small world, as we can see. Radius in kilometres. I mean, what's that? Yeah, that's like Stegna sized. Very, very small. It also has one little minor moon as well. Okay. Looking good. Right, and then lastly, it looks like we have Swift, which is must be a comet or a little asteroid. Yeah, okay. So that's going in and out of the system. And then lastly, we have Hail, which is a Ceres lookalike. So here it is here. Very, very distant as well. Got some moons. Actually has one moon of larger size called Pebble. Right there. Okay. Cool. And then uh, also some minor moons. All right. Okay. So that is the part one of this system. So this is the before. So what is it before? Before what? Before and after? What? What's the event that happens? So let's go ahead and move on to part two. The Destiny system not after. The sun or the star, I should say, definitely looks bigger in this screenshot. So let's see what happens. Okay. Right. Interesting. Okay, so what have we got here? Oh. Here you are witnessing the end of this solar system. Many of the small objects have succumbed to the heat, and the remaining ones don't seem like they would last much longer. Their names have changed to negative things, still following the same name in. Okay. Uh, with the last... Let's see. Uh, with the same name rule. As the system marches towards its end, with the last element of hope remaining, the only object resort named is the last resort. Okay. Uh, if it's any consultation, though, a new object called Indigo has been captured into the system, bringing with it a bunch of objects. It's definitely not there to make the object count go back up to 20 plus to compensate for the loss of moons. Also, find the secret. Ooh, okay. Right. Okay, we'll look to find the secret at the end, but let's go ahead and look. So, the star now. So, Destiny. How are we looking? Oh, can I? Wait, select the star game. What's this? There you go, so Destiny. So as we can see, before it was a star like the sun, now it's 0.3 AU. So if you want it in kilometres, yeah, you got, yeah, quite a large number there. <laughs> so there you go. Obviously cooler in temperature as well, as it is a red giant phase now. So first up, we've got charred here. So a world used to be quite hot, but look at it now. Oh dear, oh dear. So very, very hot. Completely ruined by the red giant. Next up, we've got Devastation here. So again, these are all the same objects, they just have different names. So, there you go, but again, completely ruined. Unrecognisable from its original form. Next up we have End. So one of these was the Earth-like planet at one point, so not good. So completely ruined. We've got Finished over here, what's this one? Uh, let's head here. Was it this one or was the Earth-like? I can't remember, honestly. But there you go, that's what it looks like underneath now. Completely ruined. It does have an atmosphere on it, so maybe it was uh, this one on, so I can't remember. <laughs> Actually, let's just go back. And what letter was the Earth like world? Um, let it go. Oi. Before, yeah. What? So, what? The, the Earth like world was. Oh, it was the one beginning with the letter E, so it's E for. Okay. So, and we just. Fate was the one we were just looking at. Oh, yeah, because it had the atmosphere. Yeah, that's it there. So you can see the atmosphere matches up. So, E and F with the two Earth-like worlds. So if we go back into this one. So E and F. So this was the Earth-like world at one point. Yeah, you can still see its atmosphere and stuff. So this this is what it is what it's ended up as. And then again with the other one, the one with the uh, thick clouds, that is finished. Quite literally finished as well. So there it is. Completely charred up by the star. Okay. So then you got the asteroid belt. Even the asteroids are glowing hot now. <laughs> then we have Guardian out here. So that's the gas giant. So that hasn't changed. 270 degrees though, but everyone else should be, or everything else should be fine. It seems to be far enough away from the blast radius of the star's uh, intense heat. So that should be okay. We've got Resort here. So this was the uh, this was the moon it had promise earlier, but look at it now. So there you go. A nice, uh, nice uh, condition to the time being. Surviving in the red giant blaze. 83 and 53 on its stats, but just about far enough away. Still very hot in temperature, though. I mean, look, the, the highest goes to 401. So the area you kind of want to sit is near the blue, the light blue area there, I guess. Well, actually in the green zone, actually. But yeah, you can see the temperature does skyrocket very fast, so you want to stay in the northern areas. But there you go. Okay. All right, now we're taking a jump. We've got hell over here. Even this one's 157 degrees. That was that series world at the end. So as you can see, even this one is 
not doing well. Only has one moon left as well, so the moons have been eradicated. Now, next up, we've got the Captured World Indigo. So it looks like it's a nice uh, ice giant that's been captured. Got some new moons around it as well that have been traveling through interstellar space. So a world that didn't even belong around this star. Okay. So maybe it's the second time this star has seen a red giant or something and it's escaped its star's clutches. So there you go. But yeah, there's a bunch of uh, the bunch of the moons as well. Okay. Right. So that is the system. Well, we will blow the star up at the end to see. Um, oh. We will blow the star up at the end to see. So is this the secret? Divine Planet Protector Observer. So it is very, very far away in, in deep space. I mean, you can see the star over there. There is barely any... I mean, if we go to uh, realistic, there's the star over there. So you can barely see that. So very dark. You see, it's got two little lights on it, uh, lit up in the darkness of space. So how far away actually is this guy? And I'm assuming. Uh, so let's see. Oh, zero point. That's quite a lot. So what is that in? Uh, Semi-major axis, zero point one light years away. Zero point one four light years away. So that's, uh, that's pretty far. So that is chilling in the far depths. So there you go. There's our full list. So back to the start itself. I think we need to press play. We're going to watch as the red giant actually does get uh, to the end of its life. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the good old explosion. We're going to slow down time because we're traveling at a couple of days right now. So let's go down to a few minutes. Uh, a few seconds. Even better. There you go. So uh, voila. So there's the star gone. So Who's going to survive this then? I mean, I think the inner planets will be gone. I reckon Guardian will survive, the only gas giant. And probably Indigo as well. But I reckon everything else will be destroyed. So let's go ahead and have a look at this carnage. So here we go. So will it survive? Uh, we can see the gas giant is warming up. Keeping on the temperature there. Oh dear. So as you can see, the side face and the Nova, that's going to get the, uh, get the full heat of it. But yeah, the inner planets, I don't think we're going to see many survivors from this. The 8,000 degrees, it's going to get completely vaporized. System's not looking good. Even Indigo out here, it's miles away from the blast at the moment. But even this is losing material already from the Nova. That is not good. How's hell doing? Yeah, even this one as well. Not looking good. The moons definitely won't survive this. No way. So let's go ahead and actually let the uh, let time play now. A couple of days. And see who survives. There's Guardian. The rings uh, or the, the asteroid belt. That's probably not doing well either. That's all going to break apart. But we can see Guardian has survived the blast. 220 degrees minus now. Some of its moons did manage to survive as well, surprisingly. Did the resort? Well, the resort survived. Oh, oh dear. Oh no. Look at the state of it. Oh, there's nothing left. Completely barren and ruined. Frozen now, frozen wasteland. So that's completely destroyed. How's Indigo doing? I mean, you should be fine. Yep. Okay. And actually, how about we see the Nova from the interstellar? The, oh, oh, the Nova's covering that as well. So even that is stuck inside the Nova now. I can't even. Where even? Oh, there it is. So even this is inside the Nova now. <laughs> hey! So it's observing the Nova from far distance, but it's actually inside it now. So what we'll do again, actually, is we'll sit and watch it from the probe's perspective. So let's do that again. That was quite cool. So again, what we're going to want to do, uh, slow it down a bit, explode the star. Actually, what we'll do as well, uh, we'll put a white dwarf in the middle. So we're going to blow that up. And just to add a little bit of extra to it, uh, I saw my white dwarf and I down here. Place that sort of in there. All right, right in the center. And then go simulation and auto orbit. Let's see if that works. But so the white dwarf is going to sit in there. Hoping that's going to work. Uh, slow down a bit more. Yeah, okay, that has worked. Okay, so they're all, all to the White Dwarf now. So where's our interstellar... Okay, here we go. Right. So we are watching from the interstellar probe. So you can see the Nova in the distance. The White Dwarf has spawned. Press play. 
So we are now watching from the depths. Over 0.1 light years away now. So we are watching from there. So speed up time. He's got a little bigger because the Nova is. There's the Nova. Oh, you can see it from the distance. There it is. Okay. You can see the Nova. Look at the Nova. Oh, that's so cool. We've never seen... I've not really ever spawned a Nova this far away. But look at that. Oh, that's so good. So you can see it is blowing up. Oh, that is cool. So if we keep going, this Nova should eventually reach us. And that is a, that's a pretty big explosion. So there you go. So that's getting pretty big. You can see 0 0.5, 0 0.05 light years. So it's, uh, it's getting there pretty quick. We'll keep loading those. And it will actually engulf the probe. So this is the most light the probe has seen in a long time. So it's actually further away. The probe is actually inside it now, as we can see. So it's almost one light year in size. So that's, uh, yeah, it is a light year in size now. So that's a big Nova. So there you go. And it will eventually fade into dust again. So there you go. Okay. And that's all you see. So all that's left is a white dwarf at the end. So let's go have a look and see what is still running around. So there's the Astro Belt. That's still rocking. Okay. So I think we'll go ahead and delete that because I don't think that'll be still going. So there's the White Dwarf. Okay, so Guardian. So how are you doing? So this is the uh, last of the gas giants. Oh, actually the resort planet got destroyed this time. So what's left is these guys. So that's obviously in pitch dark. The White Dwarf is not bright enough to uh, light this guy up. Okay. And then, uh, where's Tough? So that's completely ruined. And then lastly, Indigo out here. The only other remaining objects are both of the gas giants. They've got the most mass. And Indigo is all alone. So only one moon survived. That is your lineup. All, all that's left. Okay. So there you go. But yeah, nice. I like that. That was a cool system. I like the before and after systems. They're really cool. Yeah, definitely recommend more people to do those because they are really cool. But yeah, there we are. So that is those two systems so really hope you enjoyed them so we had the before and after so the destiny system before and after so i really, really hope you guys enjoyed this system and if you did hit that like button again massive thank you to cyrus place for sending in this system really really fun really enjoyed it so yeah keep them coming that's that's really really cool so yeah that was the before and after of the destiny system so yeah like i said guys it's even going for it's even going for 50 likes on today's video and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe helps on the journey to 25,000 subscribers as we are so close to it so yeah really really appreciate it but yeah guys with that all said and done Make sure you have a great day, stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.